Welcome to Picks on the Bluffs NFL Week 16. I am your host, Richard Reed, as always. And I'm Sam Sprout, live via uh, satellite in Orange Park, Florida. I uh, have to excuse my voice. I am catching a cold as we get closer and closer to Christmas. Just what we need. Somebody's sick at Christmas time. Oh, well, we'll have to get over that. Uh, big week last week for the NFL. We had the last undefeated team defeated by my team, which was a shocker to me. Yeah. And the only team that hadn't won yet actually got a win. Exactly, man. So. It was definitely an interesting week for sure. Uh. I don't have the standings with me right now, but still, uh, still got a Sam still in the lead. By how many? I think by four or five. In, Check the Facebook in, page in the description. It's all right, I haven't looked at it yet. Uh, and we still have all the bowl games going throughout the Christmas season. Uh, tonight, this is Wednesday, the twenty. 22nd First. or 23rd? 21st. Or 21st. Okay, but tonight's the TCU and L.A. Lafayette game, and I don't know what bowl. But uh, let's go ahead and get to the NFL Week 16 picks. All right. Start it off with, we've got a Thursday night game. It is the 10-4 Texans going against the 1-13 and Indianapolis Colts. Man, one and thirteen. They finally pulled it out. Well, I mean, they beat the, the. It was the Titans. Yeah, but still, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I'm sure you're going to pick the Colts this week, right? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> so, but uh, my pick is going to be the Texans. Yep, I have to agree with you, Texans all the way. I'm still not picking the Colts, even though they won. And still, I'm probably yeah. won't pick them next week either. All right. Next, we have the 8-6 and six Denver Broncos going against the 5-9 and nine Bills. Uh, Denver lost last week. Uh, wasn't even a close game. Uh, and all I can say is I'm taking them in this week. So you're picking them? Yep. Still going to pick the Broncos. Uh, I've actually watched the Broncos game since it actually came on TV. Usually don't get the Broncos game around we, where we live. But uh, first quarter, it was all Broncos. Second quarter, Tom Brady just led that team to a uh, what about two-possession lead going into halftime, and the Broncos just couldn't come back. Uh, but i got to go with the Broncos as well, seeing as they're only playing the Bills. Yeah. So next we have the seven and seven Arizona Cardinals going against the eight and six Bengals. Uh, my pick is going to be the Bengals this week. At the Bengals, uh, same pick here. Uh, I mean, it's the Cardinals and the Bengals are trying to get that playoff spot, and in their division that's wide open. So I think the Bengals will be getting a win this week. Good deal. Next, we have the 4 and 10 Jaguar going against the 7 7 Titans. Coming off of us last week in Indianapolis. Mm. I'm going to go with. Uh, I'm going to go with Tennessee this week. <laughs> yep. Tennessee is still my pick. Jaguars, maybe, uh, maybe next year the Jaguars will be better. But. Titans are going to win this one. Then we have the 7-7 seven seven Raiders against the 6-8 and eight Chiefs. Uh, my pick is the Chiefs this week. So you're picking the Chiefs now since they beat the Packers. Yes. Uh, we got our interim head coach, the previous Cleveland Browns coach, who went 24-40 and 40 in his the whole time he was there at Cleveland. So he says he can... Uh, win so maybe he'll beat the chargers and maybe we'll actually get a wild card spot in the playoffs but i'm, I'm thinking we're after next week we'll be out but i'm picking the chiefs here all right 
Next, we have the 5 and 9 Dolphins going against the 11 and 3 Patriots. That's going to be a Patriot game to me. Uh, definitely going to be a blowout, seeing as the Patriots blew out the Broncos. It's. What can you say? Yeah, exactly. Tom Brady's good. I mean, he's a veteran, uh, he's a good quarterback. Yeah, I've got two or three Super Bowl wins. Two came in a row, I know. Yep. Oh. It's cold Next, sucks. we have the, the battle in New York. Uh, the 77 Giants going against the 8 and 6 Jets. I'm taking the Jets on this one. Taking the Jets. I'm sure you've seen already seen the commercial. It's got this big black guy covered in whatever, and covered in green stuff, getting a massage. He's all like, oh, it's the battle in New York, or there's not really an away team. But he's got the cucumbers on, he, on his eyes, and he picks them off and eats them, and it's like, what? But. It's a weird commercial. It is weird. It's just by the sound of what I'm saying, Bob. But it's these two teams share the same stadium, so there's not really an away team. Right. But I'm picking the Jets as well. All um, right. Next, we have the 2-12 and 12 Rams going against the 10-3 and 3 Steelers. I'm taking the Steelers on this one. Uh, Steelers sounds like a good pick to me, even though they fell apart against the 49ers last week on Monday night. Yeah. Next, we have the 2-12 Vikings going against the 5-9 Redskins. I'm going to take Washington on this one. Taking the Redskins off. Yeah, Redskins, you really can't uh, pick the Vikings in this one, being the Vikings have only won twice. Uh, yeah. Might get the third win, but I don't think so. Then we have the 4 and 10 Tampa Bay Buccaneers going against the 5 and 9 Carolina Panthers. Uh, I'm Carolina. On. Well, Carolina is my pick as well, being as I've seen mostly Carolina stuff around here. That and Falcons, but, you know, they're the two closest teams around here. Yep. Next, uh, we'll go with the uh, four and ten Browns going against the ten and four Ravens. My pick is going to be the Ravens. Uh, that's again, Ravens sound like a good pick. Browns, you yeah, Browns are never have anything. Ravens, quote the Raven nevermore. Then we got the seven and seven Chargers going with the nine and five Detroit Lions. I'm going to take the Lions on this. Uh, what can you say? Lions started out good. They're still good, but not as good as they were. But they're going to win this one. Yep. Then we had the 6-8 and eight Eagles going against the 8-6 and six Cowboys. Uh, take Romo on this one. going to take Romo and the Cowboys. I'm, I'm going to go against you. I'm going to pick the Eagles as probably my upset of the week. And that's pretty much... It's really these two teams are even, so and the Eagles. That's what I'm saying. I don't think it'll be much of an upset. I think it's going to be a good game. It's there. I mean, the two teams are equal. What can you yeah. say? So it's. I guess I'm going to pick the Eagles. All right. Then we got the ten and three Forty Niners going against the seven and seven Seahawks. My pick is the Forty Niners. Uh, seeing as the Forty Niners did shut down the Steelers. After they have, after having those two blackouts at, at their stadium, I'm going to pick the 49ers. All right. Then we got the seven and seven Bears going against the thirteen and one Packers on Sunday Night Football, prime time, Christmas uh, night. My pick is going to be Green Bay. Yeah, seeing, I, I don't see how, I really don't see how the Chiefs beat Green Bay. It was. I mean, the Chiefs being that sucky of a team, even though I know somebody who, somebody from around here who plays for the Chiefs now, and there is a picture of him tackling Aaron Rodgers, but I still got to pick the Packers on this one. Yep. Next, we have the 9-5 and five Falcons going against the 4-3 and three Saints. 
I mean, I'm eleven and three Saints. I was about to say four uh, and three. How could uh, how could they only have played seven games so far? Right. We're in week uh, sixteen. Monday night game. Um, I'm gonna go with the Saints on this one. Uh, I guess I got another upset here. I'm going with the Falcons. I'm probably right. going to lose that one, but still. We'll see how it goes. Yep. But uh, live from here in Orange Park, I wish everybody a Merry Christmas. And uh, we will see you this weekend. Yep. So see you then, everybody. All right. Peace out, man. Shut up.